for Paper's Club Q night on June 3rd, we're going to do the only official Chromatica, like, release party. Are you kidding me? Are no. you fucking kidding me? That is crazy. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. So as you can tell, I played it really cool. The first weekend of quarantine, uh, my friend Mingus, Casey, Andres, and a few others started a video chat. We started doing the Zoom parties and we realized every night it was growing by like 40, 80, 100 people. Then soon it was like international and it just became this huge moment. One was Lady Gaga coming to Club Quarantine and just knowing what Club Quarantine was, was like a real kind of like, what the hell did we create? Like, what? Queer spaces are our churches. They're like our places of worship, especially like club spaces. And with quarantine, it was like we were kind of ripped from our community. And community is so important with us because a lot of us don't have like direct family that we can connect with. If you're able to access Club Q, it could mean more to you than like someone who's just like, oh, it's a quarantine, let's go to Club Q. It's like for a lot of people, it means more than that. Like even though we have the access to bigger names and we've been blessed with that privilege, it's like, making sure we're prioritizing the local queer talent. Don't get me wrong, the big names are fun. It's a nice little brag moment, but like to me it's like, if I can balance like a Lady Gaga headline with like a local talent, it's like I've done my job. For someone that's never booked a job before and no one's booked, there's a certain power to being like, oh, I wanna give people the opportunities that I didn't have. You know, at the end of the day, it's like the people in the community and in this actual space in that Zoom room are the most important.